Good day, Fairview High School. I'm Alex Woodruff, and this is the Buzz News. The first thing we'll be talking about today are the new teachers. For example, Ms. McGaha, Ms. McKnight, Mr. Uh, Jackson. They're all new here, so if you see any of them in the hallways or any other new teachers that I just may have not mentioned, please uh, give them a warm jacket welcome. I'm Lindsay Jordan. I'm here with Dr. Oyer so she can explain the Be Nice program. So, Doc, tell us about the Be Nice program. Well, I really want to think about it as a campaign, like a Be Nice campaign. Um, the idea is that I want everybody to be nice. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody, everywhere, not just here. Um, I would just want to change the world with this very simple idea. Yes, the oh world. I mean it. <laughs> so it starts with us. It is. And that bigness, I need, we need to figure out how to do it. But this came because a lady at the airport was really mean to me this summer. Um, and I wanted her to be nicer. And so I sent this series of texts saying, I just wish that people would be nice. It's not that hard. You just be nice to people. And then we had a conversation um, as the student council, executive council, about our social media. Um, we have a lot of conversations as administrators about bullying and anti-bullying and things we do to keep everybody safe and friendly. And it all kind of goes back to be nice. And so we've started this Be Nice campaign. And we're starting, you know, the idea, like we told you guys, is that we just want it to be, we want to be known as the nicest high school in Williamson County, the nicest high school in Tennessee, the nicest high school in America, the nicest high school in the world. What if that was the possibility? And I think that it is. So have you seen Be Nice behavior? Yes. Well, we know for a fact that it's happening because people have gotten these tickets. So um, the stories that I've heard, things that people are doing is sharing school supplies. Some of you are more organized than others um, and classmates have been helping each other. I saw myself, some people doing some things in the hallway, helping one another. Um, and it's not even big stuff. I, I have not seen huge things, just little things like, let me get your backpack for you while you have your hands full. Hey, can I get the door? There is um, somebody that that is tweeting and the handle is stand up Fairview and they just say positive things about yellow jackets all all day um, sometimes more than once a day and I think that's an example of just being nice so yes it's happening what happens if I get caught being nice do I get anything well, we do have the PBS tickets, so we the gold tickets won't last forever. Some of you received, they were a little bigger than the PBS tickets. Um, so you may get a t-shirt, that may happen. Um, and I think that the bigger thing is that you get a big heart. This Friday, we have another football game here at Fairview High School against Camden. It's at 7 o'clock and it's $6, so I hope to see everyone out there. And uh, now on to sports with Mike and Mitchell. All right, thank you, Alex. Uh, we're here to talk about the Fairview High School sports teams, and I'm Mike. I'm Mitchell. Today, I'm gonna talk about some soccer. The Yellow Jackets, uh, real nice start. I played some uh, district games so far, and so far they're winning most of them, I would say. But Ellery Pennington, she has a doctor's uh, appointment today, and her uh, ACL it might be torn, but we don't know. But we're gonna have to count on Abigail Murray to come through for him this year, uh, season. And Coach Osmore, I know he wants it real bad this year. Uh, so come out and support him. Well, the soccer team, uh, our volleyball team has been doing pretty good. They got a couple wins last week, hope to build on it this week. Um, Abby Frazier and Bailey Jones are the captains. They've been trying to lead at Allison Hewlin, and Ashton Mangrum are also in there. Uh, all four of them are seniors, been starting every year pretty much. So I uh, just hope they can continue on the win streak. All right, and let's talk about the football team. Yeah, let's talk some football, Mike. All right, well, Fairview is off to a pretty good start so far, playing Camden this week. It's a big game against Camden. they got to go through and get a W. Uh, this is a big district game, probably, probably the biggest game of the year. Um, looks to be a sellout crowd. Yeah, they're a really tough opponent. We're going to have to be in our A game. Our defense needs to stay strong, make sure we wrap up. Offense, as long as our coaches call the right plays, we should be able to take Camden. Yeah, it's important you got to wrap up and get at the waist and don't let them uh, take you for about, about four or five yards after that. Yeah, let's try to, try to stop at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that's our goal. So um, that wraps it up for the favorite high school sports. Thank you. Back to you, Alex.
All right, so now for the lunch menu this week. Today we will be having open face roast beef sandwiches. Sounds delicious. Tuesday, Philly cheese steak. Good. Wednesday we will be having beef lasagna, Italian. Thursday, cheese enchiladas. Make sure you don't run over people in the hallway to get go get those. Trust me, they're delicious. And then Friday we will be having barbecue pork sandwiches. The best of the best. Well, thank you for watching this week. Now on to interviews with the helmet. I'm Jacob Gonzalez, and this is the Helmet Interviews. Are you guys excited about this week's football game? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Are you pumped? I'm pumped. Mr. Woosley, are you excited for this week's football game? Oh, absolutely. Are you going to be there? Unfortunately not. My son has a game. How's your wife doing? She eats very well. That's good to hear. <laughs> Damien, are you excited for this week's football game? Too excited. Good. Are you going to be there? Yes. Not miss the Friday Night Lights. That's good. Are you excited for this week's football game? Oh, most definitely. I quite am excited. excited, excited. Are you going to be there, Teddy? Uh, I, I will try my best if, I, if my mom lets me because she's really protective of what I do and where I go. Are you excited for this week's football game? I'm very excited. Are you pumped? I'm super pumped. Good. Are you going to be there? I will be there. Are you going to be cheering really loud? Uh, extremely loud. Are you excited for this week's football game? Oh, yes. Are you on the football team, Trevor? I am not on the football team. Are you excited for basketball season? I am more than excited for basketball season. Are you going to be at the game this Friday? I will be at the game this Friday. Will you be sitting in the student section? I will most definitely be sitting cheering really loud as loud as I can. So Curtis, are you excited for the band's halftime show? Yes, I'm very excited. What about you, Chris? I can't wait for it. And you, Kelly? I don't know. Are you excited for this week's football game? Um, yeah. Are you going to be there? I don't know. I don't <laughs> Are you looking forward to seeing the marching band? Yeah. Aren't we all? So, Tori, are you excited for this week's football game? Yeah, definitely. Are you excited for the band? Sure. Just hoping for a more enthusiastic response. Well, I'm not going to be there after work, so... Why? Because I have a job. That's what happens. Christian, are you excited for the pep rally this Friday? Yeah, I'm really excited. Are you? Uh, I really didn't even know there was a pep rally this Friday. Oh. Just kind of throwing that out there. Okay. Are you going to the game? Too? No. Okay, are you excited for this week's pep rally? Yes. Friday. Yes. <laughs> are you going to the game? Yes. You excited for the marching band? I hear they're pretty awesome. Not really. Are you excited for this week's football game? Yes. Are you excited for the cheerleaders? Yes. Can I get a heck yes? No. Okay. okay. <laughs> going. Uh, uh, that would have been. <laughs> that was so good that I. Mm. It's okay. You should do, okay. say something about like Taco Thursday and for like 